what's up and welcome back to another video on Mind of Sports Talk. So, we're finally going to be doing a cricket video. This is going to be my first cricket video on the channel. So, many of you guys are interested in cricket. So, that's why I've come out with this video. So, we're going to be talking about India versus New Zealand series. So, I'm just going to be recapping what has been going on in the series so far. It hasn't finished, obviously, yet. Because uh, there's one more ODI coming up and then there's... Uh, the test series coming up but i'm just going to be recapping the odis so far and also the 5 t20s that took place so for the second odi unfortunately for india the second odi was was a tough loss and was a losing cause for them uh i thought the bowlers did a good job for india until like till the later part where uh i think india kind of relaxed and then New Zealand just kind of went off at that point with their lower order. Ross Taylor was still in the lineup, so he was the anchor. But Jameson, a bowler, but who was in there as a batsman because India were taking so many wickets, was actually really very good. He had 25 runs off 24 balls and was helping Ross Taylor build, get New Zealand to actually a decent total of 273. Even though at one point they were 197 for 8. And India really should have restricted them to somewhere around, you know, maybe 210, 215, somewhere around that point. But it went up to 273 and that, you know, I think ended up, be, it might have been too much for India. I don't think it would have, but India's batting kind of messed up again against New Zealand. I don't know what it is for India's batting, but they keep messing up against the New Zealand bowling. And this wasn't even New Zealand at their full strength. They didn't have Trent Bolt and um, Lockie Ferguson and all these other guys that are really, really good. They had put in these other guys like Kyle Jamison. So for India to be struggling with them is kind of surprising. Obviously, everyone had India winning the series, but now it's already lost because they're down 2 nothing, and it's only a three-game series. So they're, it's over for the ODIs. But... Um, Ross Taylor, he was really good for the first inning for New Zealand. He scored 73 off 74 balls. But to start off New Zealand, Martin Gupta was very good. He had a banger 79 off 79 with 11 boundaries. Overall, the batting started really well, but uh, it kind of kind of messed up as India's bowling got it together and took many wickets. But once again, New Zealand held in and somehow managed a target of 273. Now, for India's batting, it started off pretty well. I'd say the first couple of overs, you have the two youngsters, two inexperienced openers, Prithvi Shaw and Mayank Agarwal. I like these two players. They're really good, but they're inexperienced and haven't played as much at this level. And Mayank Agarwal only scored very little. He only scored three runs. But Prithi Shaw scored six boundaries, totaling 24 runs, but then got out. Uh, his play style is very aggressive and just he just had to, uh, he just got out because of this aggressive play style. Uh, Captain Virat Kohli, he struggled. He didn't do much. He had a couple of boundaries, but then once again, he got clean bowled. I don't know what is, what is it with him getting clean bowled all the time now, but he'll figure it out. He's a great player. All great players figure out any of the minor details that they struggle with and he will fix this up too. Maybe something with his technique, not something big in his technique, but something minor, I'm sure he'll fix it because all great players, this all helps great players and he's one of them that will take this opportunity to make him a better batsman. So yeah, uh, just kind of went downhill from there for India. Wickets kept tumbling. But Shiraz Ayer was there and strong. He managed to stay in there for a little bit. He scored a 50 after, in the first ODI, he scored a century. And it was pretty good for him. But he couldn't last as longer because nobody was really supporting him. Until Ravindra Jadeja came along. Jadeja has been so good against New Zealand bowling. I don't know what it is, but he just keeps finding ways to score 50 runs against the New Zealand bowling where they're trying to chase a low score and it just ends up being a losing cause but Jadeja I think is a really good all-rounder he's really chipping in 
down in the lower order and I really like what he does with the bat. He is really uh, consistent with what, he, with what he does with the bat and I just really like what he does. But uh, the new emergence of Navdeep Saini was really good. Saini was, is a bowler. I really like this, his, his potential as a bowler. I saw him in RCB when he plays for the IPL and I thought he was taking wickets and, you know, was economical mostly. So I thought, yeah, this might be a good option for India. And yeah, he did play well. But with the bat, not with the ball, with the bat. He was really good with the bat. He had a partnership with Ravinder Jadeja that allowed India to still have some hope to win the game. Uh, he showed off his batting skills with 45 runs off 49 balls, including five fours and two sixes. <laughs> really impressive for him. But the main issue is that the upper batsmen need to score. It shouldn't come down to these lower order all-rounders and bowlers now because they need to score more. Like, Saini is really good, but I don't think he should keep batting like this for so long. The upper batsmen need to contribute much more than this. I know this is a great team thing where the lower order also contributes, but really the upper order needs to score more for them to be successful. Uh, Saini should have stayed collected. He just hit a six on the previous ball, and then he just got too excited and just lost his wicket, just like this. Oh, Saini, six. Wow, what a shot. Six runs from the number 10. Oh, clean ball, Jameson cleans him up. Saini is out and that might be the end for India. When he got bored, it was everyone kind of thought it was pretty much over. Obviously, Jadeja was still there, but he needs some partner down the stretch. And if the bowlers are batting over there and they don't really know how to bat as well as Saini does for some reason, then they're just going to get all out, which they did. They ended up getting out 251. Um, just a really disappointing ODI series so far for India as they were expected to win. Uh, it kind of keeps fluctuating. Sometimes it's the batting, which is the problem. Sometimes it's the bowling, which is the problem. But uh, it just, I don't know. India needs to get it together for the ODI series and just generally need to play better in ODIs. Um, so the pitch was originally thought of was going to be high scoring. As in the last game, it was 350 almost on both sides. But for, this, for, uh, for the match... It wasn't that good. This pitch was a bit slow. It was a bit flat. And uh, the batsman needed to stay there and just play till the end. And and that's how they would win. But unfortunately, I think they got a bit too aggressive and couldn't stay till the very end, resulting in the loss. So uh, here is how Virat Kohli got out. Saudi is bowling. Oh, he clean bowled, Virat. Bye-bye. Clean bowled. Jameson ended up being the player of the match as he scored 25 runs with the bat and got two wickets with the ball, also being economical. Let's move on. Okay, let's move back, actually, to the first ODI, where India batted extremely well. They ended up scoring a whole bunch of runs as Shreyas Iyer got 103, his century, and KL Rahul got 88 of 64 balls. That was a nice explosion there by KL Rahul. But they got a mammoth total of 347, and somehow that wasn't enough to win. I don't know how, but the bowling was very expensive. As Shardor Thakur and Kuldeep Yadav both gave an economy near 9, and Shardor Thakur was most expensive, with 80 runs given up in 9 overs, and Kuldeep also gave up about, he gave up 84 runs in 10 overs. So both of those two were very expensive. Uh, the other bowlers were okay, but uh, maybe more wickets might have helped. But uh, Ross Taylor, again, was amazing. He had 109 of 84 balls and was really good, really aggressive. Uh, yeah, that kind of wrapped up the first ODI as India's batting was really good, but the bowling was very expensive and they couldn't manage to um, 
protect a total of 347, which is kind of bad. Uh, that kind of wraps up the ODI series for so far. Now, for the T20 series, that was amazing for India. India dominated every aspect of that series, including it was such a great series that there were two super overs in there. In T20s 3 and 4, there were two supers, which India pulled off at the end, winning it. And just really good games overall, but India clean sweep. New Zealand with ended up winning the series 5-0. to zero. New Zealand stood no chance in that series. Uh... K.L. Rahul rightfully deserved the man of the series as he was very, very consistent with the bat, chipped in with a good uh, score in every single T20 game. He scored two fifties. He was in the super overs and helped India win. And at that point, uh, well deserved K.L. Rahul. I, I really like K.L. Rahul in T20s. In the IPL, he's really, very aggressive. And India needs a really aggressive batsman to start off the innings. And... I think he is perfect for that. Uh, K.L. Rahul, really one of the is coming up stars of India. Uh, he also does wicket keeping. I don't know if he's as good as wicket keeping. I don't. I don't think he should do wicket keeping. But anyway, he was doing it in this series and he was okay. So, anyway, uh, so K.L. Rahul was really good. Uh, Jasprit Bumrah was really good as the bowler in the T Twenty series. Uh, he was the most economical. Obviously, he had one bad performance, but he was overall really good. Uh, also, Ravinder Jadeja was really good. He got many wickets throughout the series and was very economical. Uh, India overall had a really good showing in the T20 series, and that's good news because uh, the T20s are coming up. The T20 World Cup is coming up, so everyone has really high expectations for India after that heartbreaking loss in the World Cup. So we'll see if they can actually, you know, win the T20 World Cup because it's been quite a while. So uh, hopefully India can perform the same way that they dominated in the T20s. Uh, Virat Kohli said that it's good that we're performing well in the T20s because the, it's the T20 World Cup year. But uh, he said that they're more important. But still, you guys should have done better in the ODIs and still won at least one game. Yeah, they can still win one game, but they should have made this a better series in the ODIs. But anyway, uh, most importantly, takeaway from the T20 series was that they're really good and they're playing well. So yeah, the tests are coming up if you're interested in that. I'm not, I don't really watch tests that much. I only watch the highlights of that because I don't sit there and watch the whole game. But overall, the name needs to be better at ODIs, and yeah, that wraps up the video for the uh, India cricket recap of India versus New Zealand series. Hope you enjoyed this video. I broke down the whole entire series so far, and uh, please like and subscribe the video. Please hit the like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel, because because in the future I will be coming out with the IPL uh, videos where I do predictions and recap the IPL. Because I do watch IPL a lot. Uh, I might occasionally do some other India cricket videos about their series and stuff like that. So be sure to subscribe for that. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, comment in the comment section what you thought of my recap of India so far. Uh, and, and please be sure to check out my other videos about... The NFL, the NFL is this football, American football league here in the U.S. Um, you can see how I commentated that and you can see how kind of it is being played. I'll be coming out with a NFL rules video later on so you will be able to understand it. Uh, also, please, please see my Kobe video because I want everyone to know how great of a uh, athlete he was and how amazing of a sports person he was. So please check it out and and to, for you guys for you to know how great of a person Kobe Bryant was so uh thanks for watching once again hope you enjoy it and see you later bye